This is Jupiter Today for the 26th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant 1, heading east. Europa starts the day in quadrant 3, heading west, coming up on its western elongation. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant 4, heading east. And Callisto starts the day in quadrant 2, heading west. At 6 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant 1, heading east. Europa has successfully passed its western elongation and is now in quadrant 4, heading east. At 12 hours UTC, EO has passed its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant 3, heading west. At 1504 UTC, Europa goes through a perijove, the closest approach it'll be to Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 664,938.7 kilometers. And then at 1536 UTC, EO goes through a perijove, and that's 420,012.3 kilometers. At 18 hours UTC, EO is in quadrant 2, still heading west. Europa is in quadrant 4, still heading east. Callisto has now successfully transited Jupiter and has moved into quadrant 3 heading west. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO has also transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant 3 heading west. Europa is about to be moving behind Jupiter. And there are 10 Jupiter satellite events today. At 0 hours 45 minutes UTC, EO reappears from behind the shadow of Jupiter. At 10.44, the transit of Callisto begins. At 15.12 UTC, the shadow of Callisto ingresses. At 15.29, the transit of Callisto ends. At 19.08 UTC, the transit of EO begins. At 19.37, the shadow of EO ingresses. At 20 hours UTC, the shadow of Callisto egresses. At 21.25, the transit of EO ends. At 21.54 UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. And at 23.33, Europa moves behind Jupiter. So from 1908 to 20 hours UTC, EO and its shadow and Callisto's shadow are all on the face of Jupiter. That'll be a nice photographic event there. Okay, there are five satellite mutual events today. The first goes from 2025 to 2030, and that's when Callisto occults Europa. It's a 4.2 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.73 with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.173 magnitudes. And this event is 45.97 arc seconds from Jupiter. Looking at the Google Earth map, this bright point in the center is the location on the Earth where Jupiter is at the zenith at the time of this event. So this is the visibility map of this event. And as you can see, Western Asia, all of Europe, and all of Africa will be able to see this event. The next event goes from 2220 to 2222 UTC, and that's when EO occults Europa. That's a 2.6 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.728 and an estimated magnitude flux drop of Europa of 0.095 magnitudes. And the distance between this event and the edge of Jupiter is 17.78 arc seconds. And the visibility of this 
is all of Europe and all of Africa, and now maybe a little bit of Eastern South America. The next event goes from 1043 to 1052, and that's when Callisto eclipses Europa. It's an 8.9 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.354 and a nice deep magnitude drop of 0.947 magnitudes. Unfortunately, this event is very, very close to Jupiter. Europa is only 10.09 arc seconds from the limb of Jupiter, but Callisto and Europa are 58.77 arc seconds apart. And the visibility for this event, again, is all of Europe and all of Africa, and maybe some of South America. The fourth mutual event today goes from 2301 to 2305 UTC, and that's when EO eclipses Europa. It's a 3.7 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.63 and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.238 magnitudes. And again, it's very, very close to the limb of Jupiter, 6.82 arc seconds. And EO and Europa are 24.73 arc seconds apart. Vis visibility for this is Europe, Africa, and Eastern South America maybe the extreme northeastern part of North America now. And the fifth and final mutual event for today goes from 2340 to 2351 UTC, and that's when Callisto eclipses EO, and that's an 11.6 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.882 and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0 0.074 magnitudes. And EO is going to be 44.93 arc seconds from Jupiter, and Callisto and EO are 33.01 arc seconds apart. Visibility for this is most of Europe, looks like most of Africa, about half of South America, and the extreme eastern part of North America. Okay, orbital ribbons for today. These are just the temporal connections between the four Galilean moons. As they orbit Jupiter, Io starts over here, Europa starts over here, so I connect those lines, and then as time goes by, they make this kind of connection. And to me, it looks like a ribbon that has been twisted. So there's the connection between Io and Europa, and Eo and Ganymede, Eo and Callisto, and then Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine these six ribbons and colorize them a little bit to get that for today. And this is looking from above, so this white spot in the middle is the location of Jupiter, and then these are the four orbits. And then with the plotting program that I have, I can change the, the viewing angle. And so I did that in this case, and just thought that that was kind of an interesting shape. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter at a longitude of zero degrees, and just looking out at Jupiter sky over the next 24 hours. Jupiter rotates a couple of times over a 24 hour period. Europa I'm going to be passing in front of Ganymede. Hopefully someday human eyes will be able to actually witness these kinds of events. For now we can just simulate and hope.
There goes EO transiting. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 8.56 and the second at 18.51 UTC. There were some new images posted on the internet. And there was some new radio data. And there was a paper about Europa posted today. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, 10 minutes, 56.9 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 16 minutes, 57.5 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun is 158.11 degrees, and that's 1.121 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 3.967 degrees, and that's 0.195 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth at zero hours UTC today is 659,252,079 kilometers, and that's 885,049 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 36,877.04 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,801.41 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 798,573,082 kilometers, and that's 45,405 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,891.88 kilometers per hour. And that's 8.29 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 266.34 degrees. CM2, 134.54 degrees. CM3, 48.19 degrees. The time of this recording is 2353 UTC on the 25th of February 2015. So please subscribe and thank you for subscribing. You can send your images and comments and questions and suggestions to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.